I'm in IO library and there's a display of um, uh, primary school children's uh, artwork and many of uh, the pictures, but by no means all, in this display uh, show what uh, Takahiko Masada calls a third person or a contextual view of self and um, or another way of saying it would be to be call it a bird's eye view, which is what it's called in uh, Japanese um, literature, because uh, it is the view from uh, about 45 degrees up, as if from the mountains, uh, looking down upon people. So as you can see here, that that uh, the viewpoint from which this um, uh, six-year-old has drawn their um, class is uh, from above. Not all of them. Uh, there's one there that's about the same height as the people in the picture. But many of them viewpoint is from above. And this is something that is found in uh, Edo period uh, artworks. This one's kind of Western in its style, but this one here is very typical of the Japanese style of uh, looking down. And this is found in Edo period artworks, as I just said, and also in uh, experimentation with uh, university students, ask them to draw a house and a, um, a stream and, a, and a, a tree, and they'll draw it in this way from above with a high uh, horizon. Uh, or no horizon at all, looking down in this in this case. Uh, again, looking down like this. So um, this one here, I think again that you can't really see a horizon. Uh, it's sort of at once on the level with the girl eating the the watermelon, but at one, once at the same time above. And this one's uh, completely above, and again completely above. And some of them are an impossible viewpoint. That, like this one here, it's a sort of a viewpoint from all viewpoints where you can see an all seeing eye from above that is looking both at those faces there and at that face there as if it's sort of peering down and out of the ceiling. And uh, this sort of all seeing eye that peers down out of the ceiling. Um, hmm. Well, it reminds me of Japanese horror uh, where um, there are sort of mirrors with uh, women uh, popping out of them. And it's not for me um, uh, a contextual or third-person view. A contextual view uh, or a third-person view is the is the idea that Japanese uh, see themselves in social context as a sort of a member of society. Here's another one: was an all-seeing eye from above. Uh, not only does it look down, but it's also looking at that from that angle and from that angle, at a variety of angles. For me, it's not um, a social thing. In other words, that the Japanese are not seeing themselves from the viewpoint of others in the plural, i.e. specific persons. And if they were, they would draw themselves in a more Western way, um, like, this one's again looking down, where's a Western one? Uh, in other words, like Western drawings with, oh, here's, here's one here, as if another person is looking at you. That, that, that would be a true Truly, um, uh, a view f viewpoint from another. But what they're doing is they're taking a viewpoint from what I'd call a generalised other. They're looking at themselves in a in a sort of um, in a way from the viewpoint of God, I would say. Uh, that they're looking down from the mountains. They're looking down from the sky upon themselves from the viewpoint of someone that can see everything. Uh, and this sort of looking down view, this sort of seeing the all-seeing eye view is, um, I think, the view of uh, the Japanese generalized other, or God. Uh, that is to say, the, um, the view upon themselves that they see and simulate in their own mind. It's not of an, an other, but what Lacan calls the other. And now this uh, generalized other is always in Lacan or James Mead. Uh, it's quite specifically said, uh, to look down upon us from a linguistic perspective. In other words, uh, these Western authors uh, argue that it's not possible to simulate the um, the eye of the visual other. The only way to gain a... Um, this is gain looking down, aren't they all wonderful? Um, the only way to gain a viewpoint upon self from the point of the other, with a capital letter, from a generalized position, is to do it by language. Because language allows us, when we uh, speak, as I'm doing now, pontificate, we can hear our theories, again looking down there, 
uh, here are theories from the point of view of generalized others and you know, not, what, not one ear but uh, here I am on this video talking to YouTube or to millions of people and well no not that many people uh, listen to my video but uh, uh, I, I'm talking to many and uh, the person that I simulate hearing my voice is like the all-seeing eye it's a sort of um, uh, an amalgam of uh, many viewpoints, of many persons I hearing, many persons um, noddings, and many persons um, reaction to my voice. And hence, this one here, one, and looking down again, high, high horizon, again looking down, high horizons. Um, and hence, it's um, uh, this, 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 this ear that I have simulated, this other, this uh, YouTube, this person that can hear me and tell me whether I'm speaking bullshit or speaking the truth, um, allows me to gain a viewpoint upon myself. And there's quite a lot of these, by the way, here in the Japanese artwork. I keep on jumping from the artwork to what I'm saying. These imaginings, drawings of imaginings. Um, the, the viewpoint I have upon myself enables me to ga gain a third person viewpoint which is at the same time myself it's a sort of it's the eyes of the world as they say in japanese um, the generalized other is someone that is both you and not you a sort of a pet you an imaginary friend and this imaginary friend in the western society uh, looks at us from a linguistic viewpoint even though uh, mead uses uh, visual metaphors like perspective taking he's quite plain and he makes it very very clear that no the only way to do it is within language and that language allows us this faculty of being able to see ourselves but no here it is in japanese primary school students they can see themselves isn't it beautiful they can see their own minds they can see from the, you know, they've got a, a, a interior third person that enables them to have a self in the visual domain. In other words, they can get a viewpoint of themselves. They can actually see themselves. Now, there are uh, philosophers lately, such as a guy called Metzinger from um, uh, Germany, who says that this is uh, the origin of self, that uh, the, the ability to, to see oneself is um, embedded in the human brain at a, a neurological level, and that we have uh, mirror neurons that enable us to see ourselves and um, interpret the behavior of others. But uh, largely in the Western tradition, this ability to see oneself is ignored, and the only God, or the only generalized other, the only simulated third-person position that we accept, not third-person, what's it, the thou, the super addressee, the, the super-ego, the Lacanian other, the generalized other, all these are only linguistic. But the Japanese kids, from a young age, learn to do it visually. Mm.